Highlands Training and Rehabilitation Center, or ITAC, in its vision to give a second chance to those left behind has done extraordinarily in closing the gap for discriminated to teach them skills to fulfill their dream. During the second graduation of the Port Mosby campus, there were students from Goilala and Samurai Murua among the 250 that graduated on Thursday, 19th January. Alex Ambrose, a student representative from Goilala and also the early childhood phonics teacher trainer, appreciated the members of Goilala and the governors of Central Province for sponsoring a large number of students. He said about 5th or 15 to 20 percent of the graduating students are Goilala students. So it's a real privilege, and that's been continued with the current governor, Mufina uh, Pina, and we also have a Goilala member. So I'm really appreciative to our members and the governor who have sponsored these programs by building and including into it, building human resources. Ward 1 councillor from Gwari LLG in Guilala District, Yokin Amanea, spoke on behalf of the Guilala students. He thanked the HITAC for elevating their status from nobody to somebody in society. Guilala is a bad name in the country and also in the city. But somehow, our leaders, they see us and they brought us into this uh, school year, HITAC. And the aim of ITEC is from nobody to somebody. And now we go to from nobody, we became somebody. The founder and director appreciated those MPs who assisted in paying the tuition for the students, but expressed that government can still do more. Appeal to the current government, either the education department or either the uh, office of education, they have to seriously look into it and. Uh, make the budget for the private owned institution in the countries where they can fund yearly for our operation. And with that support, I think we will produce more. Like first, uh, like Islands of Training and already uh, Islands of Training and Rebellion College already produced twenty thousand plus since two thousand to two thousand twenty two. Frida Khan, T V one news.